Hi guys, it's Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator for Australia, jessieholton.com. Thanks for joining me today for another crafting video. I'm going to be showing you a really cute party card that I've made uh, using the Broadway Bound Designer Series paper and the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set. These two go really well together. Let me flip you around and show you what I've made. So this is the card that I've made. And you'll have to excuse me, I do have a small child under my desk uh, helping me craft today. How fun are these bright colour combinations um, in the Broadway uh, designer series paper? So I've got my two stitched edge framelits here. We're going to start off by cutting these squares to go around and then we're going to interlock them and glue them on. We're going to start with a black cardstock base. So this is just A4 cut in half at 14.85 and then scored in half at 10.5. So I'm just going to pop some glue on the back here. Alright, now I'm going to intertwine my little squares and then I'm going to put the glue on the back. Next up we're going to use this lovely lipstick and it is a beautiful dark pink but bright as well. And I've got my Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set and I'm using this little, uh, the banner. doesn't have to be perfect it is handmade and one of the things that makes it unique is the fact that it is handmade and that it is not perfect you know that's that's why handmade cards mean so much more to the receiver because you've actually taken the time to put it together rather than just ducking down to the shops. The other side of it is that when you make these beautiful cards, you should put them in the mail. Because if you've gone to all that effort to make someone, you, you make them and they just sit there It's a wasted effort. I've already pre-punched this. This is the gold glimmer paper and I've punched it with the um, Starburst punch. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on that. And I'm going to stick it right here in the middle. Alright, and then I've got some pre-punched lemon lime twist. This is the two inch circle punch. And we're going to do the happy birthday. That's my stamping scrub on the side, by the way. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Just clean it, give it a rub on the wet side with the, the stamping mist spray. So I just put a little dribble of water on it. Not too much because otherwise it flicks everywhere when you rub on it. 
with a little dribble of water and one or two sprays of the stamping mist. And then you just rub it on the wet side, rub it on the dry side and it is clean and dry and you can either re-ink it or you can put it away and then you keep all of your stamps where they're meant to be and you don't lose them. Because <laughs> I, <clears throat> I have posted people stamps by accident because I've had mess all over my desk and I've gone to um, to post something and I've put it down on my desk and not realised that the stamp is stuck on the back of it and then I've sent it away in the mail. <laughs> so that is annoying when you lose your stamps and I mean it's worse that I know I'm never going to find it again. <laughs> but what do you do? Alright. Four dimensionals. And then I've got some of my, the very last of my black metallic thread. And I'm going to do, I wasn't counting, but there's about eight. Round it round about eight times. And when it does this, that's fine. That's perfect. That's really good. You want it to look really natural and just all over the shop. That's fun, okay? Um, and if it all sticks together in a perfect circle, then that's fine too. You, the thing is with, um, with this metallic thread, you've just got to let it do what it wants to do. It can't be controlled. So you just go with the flow. There we go. And you do need a few extra uh, dimensionals if you're using the older glitter, uh, glimmer paper. A couple of extra dimensionals on there will really help it stick in place. The new glimmer paper is much better. It doesn't flake. The glitter doesn't come off it. Um, and it sticks, the adhesive sticks to it so much better. So definitely grab yourself some of the new glimmer paper. There's a new code for it. Uh, it's in the annual catalogue and if you need a copy of the new annual catalogue just let me know because I can grab you a copy of the new annual catalogue as well. Now I've got a stack here, I already pre-cut a stack of the white for the inside and this is at 14.5 by 10.1. So I'm just going to stick that inside. Alrighty. And I'm going to grab that adorable little hooray um, stamp, the balloon. And lovely lipstick ink. And I'm not going to re-ink this, okay? I'm just going to use the ink that's on there. There we go. That'll do. Right. I'm going to do little lime green polka dots and I am going to re-ink this lime one. I did try it with not re-inking it and just letting it um, fade out but it just didn't show up a lot on the, the lovely lipstick so I did it again with uh, re-inking it and it looked a lot better for my preference anyway. Alright, and then we're going to do make a wish. Whoops. Stamps flying everywhere. And that's a really, really simple card. You could even just do those balloons in black if you don't have the other ink colours. How much of a fun, bright card is that? And it's not really, you know, 
very feminine or very masculine. It could work for either because that pink is such a dark pink. It's almost red. You could totally get away with this for a guy's card. But it would make a really fantastic kid's card as well. So, anywho, there we go. That is my second one. And you can see that the metallic thread is completely different on each of them. And you've just got to let it do its own thing. But it's a fantastic um, way to add a little bit of texture to your card. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed these cards. And I have used the Happy Birthday Gorgeous stamp set, which is 143662, and the Broadway Bound Specialty DSP, which is 146277. I've used Basic Black Lovely Lipstick and Le Lemon Lime Twist inks. I've used the Classic Label Punch, the Starburst Punch, and the 2 inch Circle Punch. And the stitched shapes framelit styles which are 145372 I will link all of these products on my blog um, so you can go there if you'd like to purchase them through my shop a brand new um, hostess code so please use that when you shop with me at the um, bottom of your shopping cart there is a little aqua color it's actually pool party um, <laughs> box and it says apply your host code there so please use that code there this code is also on my blog and it's on the banner of my facebook page uh, and very exciting news i'm hosting my first stamp camp so this is going to be on saturday the 25th and sunday the 26th of august it's a two-day stamp camp we do four lots of projects on the first day and four lots of projects on the second day so each lot of projects is using a particular suite or a particular stamp set all in all you're going to make 32 cards and envelopes seven 3d projects and one album and we're going to be using the eight different sets or suites we're also going to have a mega bingo prize draw at the end of the day we're all going to get a bingo card and a pen to mark it off and i've got the little wheel thing that you pops all the balls out and all the product that we have used to make our cards will be in the prize draw so um there'll be all of the stamp sets all the dies and punches and embossing folders and all that fun stuff is going to be up for grabs at the end of the two days so this is limited places available uh, and if you would like to sign up for this it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day or two days <laughs> And um, if you want to contact me, you can pay your deposit of $65 to hold your place. Uh, and all in all, it'll be $265 all up uh, to make all of the projects. And you take everything home with you and you're going to have a fantastic time. You're going to make new friends, learn new techniques, get to play with all the new products. And we're going to have a really, really great time. Uh, so it also includes morning tea and afternoon tea on both days and there is a pub right next door so we'll go there for lunch and dinner on both days as well um, and of course that's optional if you'd prefer to bring your own lunch then you're very welcome to do that okay so contact me to rsvp you can call me on 0413 or you can email me jesse at jessieholton.com and the stamp camp itself will be held in geelong in town in geelong uh, right across the road from Westfield Shopping Centre. So you can park at Westfield if you're driving in. All right. Please sign up to my Facebook, my blog, my YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any of my tutorials or tips or tricks. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> this is Jessie Holton, your Stamping Up Demonstrator. JessieHolton.com signing off. Um, I'll chat to you guys later. Bye.